All right, hey guys. So next step is once you've cut your bits down to the size, uh, what you should actually have is if you've done it correctly, you should actually have a little bit of excess on either end, which is this guy's done really, really well. Okay, and if you have gone over your line, you're gonna have to then cut it down to the size of the, the smallest one. So instead of being 240 long, it might be 230. Okay, so what we need to do is like check the squareness before we go into the, and this guy's done it really, really well. Just checking the square, check the length. Okay, oh. it's spot on 240. Okay, and the other one hopefully is at 240 as well, which it is. Okay, that's great. All right, so guys, we're gonna set up the, uh, the disc sander now. So you make sure you guys are standing back behind the yellow line. Just make sure I've got my apron on. We've got our eye protection on. Okay, and then we're gonna set the machine up. Every time you come to the machine, we need to make sure that the disc sander is actually set up because this thing actually moves, the actual fence sort of moves a bit. And if we don't have it nice and square to the, the disc sander, you're gonna find that this is actually gonna get an angle on it and it's not gonna work. Okay, so, what I do is I put the the, uh, the square up there, have a look at it, un undo the, uh, just get it into the right shape there, so it is actually at 90 degrees. And just through vibration, it generally comes undone every couple of times, so you just need to check that. Uh, next thing is when we're using the fence, uh, we only work in this half of the machine here, not on that end, because what can happen if it if you go up that, it, get, it gets caught. It will actually oh, fly up. The other thing as well is you gotta make sure fingers don't go near the, the machine. All right, so guys, so we've got our line here, just gently holding onto the 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 uh, workpiece and turn away. Okay, and you just check it, make sure it's like right on the line, which it is, and that's done perfectly. Start sanding it, actually pulls away like that, and also lifting it up. So when you lift it up, so you end up getting it, and it starts to go across the thing like that. So try to keep it flat and on the fence. And you only have to push gently in, and you can just go across like this. Okay? And get it down to the line, and you should actually get a nice, perfect straight line there. All right, guys, uh, next step, once you've done the disc sander and you've, you're happy with all your uh, pieces and you check them so that they are actually the same length, and this guy's done it really, really well. So they're all exactly the same length and they look very square. You can do the visual inspection then. And what we'll do, we'll actually get the, uh, the car tire rubber band. Car tire? And, yep, because we're gonna use that to glue it together. Chaffine. Okay, and we'll put that together and this guy can actually help me put it on. You want to help me put that on there? This guy's name is Chapman Tack. Put the rubber band around there. Cool. Oh, that's really nice. And that, because that, that force is actually pulling it into square, so what we'll do, we'll just do the visual inspection now, making sure all the uh, the joints and the joinery is like really good, no gaps. It's looking really, really good. What I would actually do now, while it's in that condition, I would actually mark out the top of the job. So I'm just going to like, in top here, top, 